السلام علیکم وی ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ آور ڈسکشن آن فنڈامنٹل پرنسپلس وچ گورن دی ورکنگ آف اے سی مشینس وی اسٹارٹیڈ ود دی سمپلسٹ کیس دیٹ از ا لوپ آف وائر روٹیٹنگ ان ا یونیفارم میگنیٹک فیلڈ کریٹڈ بائی نارتھ اینڈ ساؤتھ پولز ان دی لاسٹ لیکچر وی ڈیرائیوڈ این ایکسپریشن فار وولٹیج انڈیوسڈ ان دس کوائل روٹیٹنگ ان دس میگنیٹک فیلڈ Uh, and in today's lecture, we shall derive an expression for the torque induced in this coil uh, when current I is flowing in uh, this coil. This arrangement is uh, simple. We have north pole and south pole and inside uh, these uh, poles there is a coil in the free space. This coil can rotate about its axis, about this axis. Uh, if we Uh, look uh, at the f- uh, if you look at the front view of this diagram we have this situation north pole and south pole uniform magnetic field and inside this magnetic field there is a coil we can only see uh, this front side of the coil uh, this coil is a rectangular coil shown over here with side ab uh, segment bc segment cd and segment ab as we discussed in last lecture Only this side is visible in the front view. Uh, this conductor, uh, we can show it uh, in this diagram by this uh, small circle and this conductor by another small circle. We have taken this direction of current, that is uh, current is uh, here in this conductor, it is into the surface of this board denoted by the cross notation and here it is out of the surface of the board denoted by the dot notation we want to derive an expression for torque induced in this coil we know that a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field that experiences a force and that force is given by f is equal to i l cross v where i is the current in the conductor l is the effective length and v is the flux density Uh, due to that force, uh, there will be induced torque and that torque, uh, torque and force are related by this relation R cross F. Let's uh, analyze uh, each segment of this coil separately, that is determine the force due to each segment of this coil and therefore determine the torque due to each segment of this coil. We start with segment uh, AB, uh, so force due to this segment AB that is equal to the current I uh, and then L cross B. So what is the uh, direction of the length vector? This length is placed like this one over here that is into the surface of the board and what is the direction of uh, the flux density vector? That is towards right. So both these vectors are perpendicular uh, whatever is the angular position of this coil these two vectors will always be perpendicular for example after certain time this coil would have rotated uh, to new position that is this conductor would have reached to this point still this these two vectors will be perpendicular uh, so l cross b is simply equal to l multiplied by b that is uh, we have this situation This is the flux density vector and the length vector is into the surface of the board. So uh, these two vectors are perpendicular, the length vector and flux density vector are perpendicular. So magnitude of force is ILB. L cross B is simply equal to L multiplied by B because L and B are perpendicular. Uh, what is direction of this force? Direction is the same as the direction of L cross B. Uh, you can determine the direction of this force by any convenient approach. Uh, we have studied multiple techniques to determine the direction of uh, forces. Uh, for example, uh, the direction of this cross product can be determined by this right hand rule. The first vector, the second vector, the direction of the resultant vector. So if uh, I use this approach, uh, first vector is the length vector and the second vector is the flux density vector 
and then the resultant direction of force will be downwards. This is direction of force due to conductor AB. Uh, you can also use uh, some other convenient approach as well. For example, uh, we have already talked about this approach that is rotate first vector in this direction of second vector, then thumb will indicate the direction of the resultant vector. So here first vector is the length vector which is like this one and the second vector is flux density vector. If I rotate first vector in the direction of second vector, then thumb will indicate the direction of force which is again downwards. So this is downwards. Uh, what is torque due to this conductor? Torque AB, we know that is equal to R uh, cross F. What is direction of R? Uh, here the force is acting uh, downwards over here and R is this distance from here to here, from this point of the force to the central pivoting pole point. Uh, and uh, that is R is uh, has this direction. This is direction of R for this uh, side, this conductor. We can see that uh, R is not perpendicular to F, rather there is an angle, uh, we call it theta AB, between this vector R and vector uh, FAB. Therefore, this torque which is R cross F is R, F uh, and sine of the angle between the two vectors, theta, A, B. Uh, and what is direction of this torque? We can intuitively see it that this force will tend to rotate it in clockwise direction. Uh, we can also uh, determine the direction of the resultant vector by using uh, any convenient approach, for example, rotate uh, uh, R in the direction R cross F, rotate first vector in the direction of the uh, second vector. So uh, the direction of torque is into the surface of board, which means that that torque will tend to rotate this coil in clockwise direction. So this is clockwise, clockwise. R, we can also call it into board, into the surface of board. Uh, now we talk about the second segment, segment BC. So force due to segment BC. We can determine the force. What is uh, uh, the direction of L? Direction of L uh, here, this segment BC is placed like this one over here at the back end, this segment BC, not visible over here. So this is the length vector. L. And here is the flux density vector B. So this is the length vector, this is flux density vector. Both the vectors are uh, not perpendicular to each other. Therefore, L cross B will be equal to L multiplied by B into sine of the angle between the two vectors. So we have some force which is non zero. Uh, given by I L B and sine of the angle, uh, which we can call it this, which, uh, we can give some name to this angle, for example, angle alpha, sine of alpha. What is direction of this force? Direction of force, uh, what is direction of L cross B? Rotate L in the direction of B, so into the surface of the board. The direction of force. is this is the direction of force into the surface of force this thing is force bc so the force due to this segment this segment is into the surface of board that is in this particular diagram this is the direction of force due to uh, segment bc here this direction uh, in this diagram which uh, is into the surface of the board, shown over here. So what is the torque due to this force, the force uh, induced in segment BC? Torque due to segment BC. 
So what do you think intuitively? Can this force produce any rotation in this loop? The answer is no. This force can only produce linear displacement if this coil is allowed to move. So this force cannot produce any rotation in this loop. It can only produce translational displacement if this coil is allowed to move in translational position. However, this force cannot produce any torque. That is also uh, clear from this expression. That is R cross F. What is direction of R? R in this case is this one uh, and F is also in the same direction. That is, this is direction of F and the same is direction of R. The two vectors are parallel to each other, therefore their cross product is equal to 0. So torque induced due to this segment VC that is equal to 0. A similar discussion can be carried out for this segment AD. Uh, again, we shall observe that the torque due to segment AV that is also equal to 0. We are left with this uh, segment, segment CV. So let's determine the force due to this segment, uh, segment CV. Let me draw the diagram over here. What is direction of the uh, flux density vector? It is towards right. Towards right. And what is direction of this uh, length vector? It is uh, the direction of current in the conductor. The current is coming out of this segment, so out of the surface of the board. So this is direction of length. And uh, we can see that this B and L are perpendicular. So L cross B is simply equal to I L B. And uh, what is direction of the force? L cross B. Rotate L in the direction of B. So L in the direction, rotate this vector in the direction of flux density vector. So force is upwards. Otherwise, you can use this rule. Point this finger in the direction of first vector. That is this finger in the direction of first vector. This finger in the direction of second vector. Then thumb will indicate the direction of the cross product. So force is upwards. This is force B, uh, what is name? Force CD. Upwards. And what is uh, torque due to this force? Torque due to segment CD that is equal to R cross F. Uh, so R, what is direction of R? This uh, is the direction of uh, R. Uh, is in this direction and uh, this uh, R cross F this angle let's call it theta CV so R cross F is R F sine of theta CV this is torque due to this segment uh, what is direction of this torque direction of this torque uh, the force is in this direction upwards Again, it will tend to rotate this coil in clockwise direction. Can also be seen from uh, the uh, direction of R cross F. R cross F is into the surface of board. That means this force will tend to rotate this in clockwise direction. So this is also clockwise. Uh, what we further observe is that this angle theta AB is equal to the angle theta CB. So we can even omit this, these uh, substrates CD and AB from these expressions. So the torque produced is uh, due to this segment of the coil and due to this segment of the coil. Both the torques tend to rotate this, uh, this coil in clockwise direction. So total torque is sum of the two torques uh, that is given by induced torque is equal to uh, this torque plus this torque uh, that is uh, equal to this FAB uh, was equal to ILB this FCD that is also equal to ILB so if we just substitute FAB FCD over here and then this torque uh, 
uh, uh, sorry, this term plus this term that is equal to 2R F is I L B sine theta. So the torque induced in this coil depends upon current in the coil, it depends upon flux in the machine, and it depends upon certain parameters which depend upon the construction of the machine. So that is also true for real AC machines. Uh, we would like to rewrite this expression in a form which will be more convenient when we shall be talking about real AC machines. So let's rewrite this expression in another form. 